you probably know how to find the refracted ray uh, using Snell's law. When you plug in your index of refraction, you measure your first angle, then you use your calculator to measure the, or to find the second angle, and then you just draw it. But there is a way to do it much faster and without even using a calculator. So in this method, what you have to do first is you have to draw two circles with the radius proportional to the index of refraction. So here I had an index of refraction n1 and about three times bigger an index of re refraction n2. Now, all you have to do is continue your incoming ray until it hits the angle of refraction or the circle of the index of refraction where you're coming from, in this case N1, and then make a parallel line and connect this to the circle of the second index of refraction. And you have found your refracted ray. And you might wonder, why is this working, or how comes this is working? And the answer is the following. If I have my angle theta 1 here, then I have my angle theta 1 here again, right? The, the angle of theta 1, sine of it, times n1, is this line here. So I have n1 times sine theta 1 is my green line. Well, what do I have here? Here I have my second radius, which is my n2, times sine of theta 2 gives me this distance here. And those two distances are made them equal, so basically I have just genetically solved Snell's. I can also use this if I want to go from the higher index to the lower index. So same thing, let's say I have a ray coming up like this. All I need to do is continue until I hit the index of refraction I'm coming from, making a parallel line to the normal down at the intersection here, and here is my refracted ray. Also, I can very easily find the critical angle. Well, the critical angle happens when this parallel that comes down is not hitting my lower index of refraction anymore. So to find the critical incoming angle, all I go, I go to the most extreme end, here, my lower index of refraction, I connect like this, and here the red one was my critical angle, which will be reflected along the surface. So this one here, um, here I have my critical and that's how we do this without even opening up a calculator and I'm sure it's much faster than doing a bridge calculator.